VO2 max is the maximum rate of oxygen consumption as measured during incremental exercise, most typically on a motorized treadmill. Maximal oxygen consumption reflects the aerobic physical fitness of the individual, and is an important determinant of their endurance capacity during prolonged, submaximal exercise. The name is derived from V, volume, O2, oxygen, max, maximum. VO2 max is expressed either as an absolute rate in liters of oxygen per minute or as a relative rate in milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute. The latter expression is often used to compare the performance of endurance sports athletes. However, VO2 max generally does not vary linearly with body mass either among individuals within a species or among species, so comparisons of the performance capacities of individuals or species that differ in body size must be done with appropriate statistical procedures, such as analysis of covariance. Measuring VO2 max Accurately measuring VO2 max involves a physical effort sufficient in duration and intensity to fully tax the aerobic energy system. In general clinical and athletic testing, this usually involves a graded exercise test in which exercise intensity is progressively increased while measuring ventilation and oxygen and carbon dioxide concentration of the inhaled and exhaled air. VO2 max is reached when oxygen consumption remains at steady state despite an increase in workload. Fick equation. VO2 max is properly defined by the Fick equation, when these values are obtained during an exertion at a maximal effort. Where Q is the cardiac output of the heart, CaO2 is the arterial oxygen content, and CVO2 is the venous oxygen content. CaO2 a euro CVO2 is also known as the arteriovenous oxygen difference. Estimation of VO2 max. Tests measuring VO2 max can be dangerous in individuals who are not considered normal healthy subjects, as any problems with the respiratory and cardiovascular systems will be greatly exacerbated in clinically ill patients. Thus, many protocols for estimating VO2 max have been developed for those for whom a traditional VO2 max test would be too risky. These generally are similar to a VO2 max test, but do not reach the maximum of the respiratory and cardiovascular systems and are called submaximal tests. The Euro Zar Rain Senior Euro Overguard a Euro Pedersen estimation, another estimate of VO2 max for humans, based on maximum and resting heart rates, was created by a group of researchers from Denmark. It is given by this equation uses maximum heart rate and resting heart rate to estimate VO2 max in ml slash, Garmin. Cooper test, Kenneth H. Cooper conducted a study for the United States Air Force in the late 1960s. One of the results of this was the Cooper test in which the distance covered running in 12 minutes is measured. Based on the measured distance, an estimate of VO2 max, in ml slash, Garmin, is where D12 is distance covered in 12 minutes. Multi-stage fitness test, there are several other reliable tests and VO2 max calculators to estimate VO2 max, most notably the multi-stage fitness test, based on the research paper by Ledger and Lambert, a maximal multi-stage 20M shuttle run test to predict VO2 max. VO2 max levels a Euro OE maximal oxygen uptake is widely accepted as the single best measure of cardiovascular fitness and maximal aerobic power. Absolute values of VO2 max are typically 40 to 60 percent higher in men than in women. A Euro the average and trained healthy male will have a VO2 max of approximately 35 a Euro 40 milliliters slash Garmin. The average and trained healthy female will score a VO2 max of approximately 27 a euro 31 milliliters slash Garmin. These scores can improve with training and decrease with age, though the degree of trainability also varies very widely. Conditioning may double VO2 max in some individuals, and will never improve it in others. In one study, 10% of participants showed no benefit after completing a 20-week conditioning program although the other 90% of the test subjects all showed substantial improvements in fitness to varying degree. In sports where endurance is an important component in performance, such as cycling, rowing, cross-country skiing, swimming and running, 
world-class athletes typically have high VO2 maxima. Elite male runners can consume up to 85 milliliters slash, Garmin, and female elite runners can consume about 77 milliliters slash, Garmin. Five-time Tour de France winner Miguel Indurain is reported to have had a VO2 max of 88.0 at his peak, while cross-country skier Bjarne Dali measured at 96 milliliters slash, Garmin. Dali's result was achieved out of season, and physiologist Elmd Hem who was responsible for the testing stated that he would not discount the possibility of the skier passing 100 milliliters slash, Garmin, at his absolute peak. Norwegian cyclist Oskar Svensson is thought to have recorded the highest VO2 max of 97.5 milliliters slash, Garmin, a sensational value in itself, made more remarkable by his young age. To put this into perspective, thoroughbred horses have a VO2 max of around 180 milliliters slash, Garmin. Siberian dogs running in the Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race have VO2 values as high as 240 milliliters slash, Garmin. The highest values in absolute terms for humans are often found in rowers, as their much greater bulk makes up for a slightly lower VO2 max per kg. Elite oarsmen measured in 1984 had VO2 max values of 6.1 A plus or minus 0.6 liters per minute and oarswomen 4.1 A plus or minus 0.4 liters per minute. Rowers are interested in both absolute values of VO2 max and in lung capacity, and the fact that they are measured in similar units means that the two are often confused. British rower Sir Matthew Pinsent is variously reported to have had a VO2 of 7.5 litres per minute or 8.5 litres per minute, although the latter may represent confusion with his lung capacity of 8.5 litres. New Zealand scholar Rob Waddell has one of the highest absolute VO2 max levels ever tested. Factors affecting VO2 max The factors affecting VO2 are often divided into supply and demand. Supply is the transport of oxygen from the lungs to the mitochondria while demand is the rate at which the mitochondria can reduce oxygen in the process of oxidative phosphorylation. Of these, the supply factor is often considered to be the limiting one. However, it has also been argued that while trained subjects probably are supply limited, and trained subjects can indeed have a demand limitation. Tim Noakes a professor of exercise and sports science at the University of Cape Town, describes a number of factors that may affect VO2 max, age, sex, fitness and training, changes in altitude, and action of the ventilatory muscles. Noakes also asserts that VO2 max is a relatively poor predictor of performance in runners due to variations in running economy and fatigue resistance during prolonged exercise. Cardiac output pulmonary diffusion capacity, oxygen carrying capacity, and other peripheral limitations like muscle diffusion capacity, mitochondrial enzymes, and capillary density are all examples of VO2 max determinants. The body works as a system. If one of these factors is subpar, then the whole system loses its normal capacity to function properly. The drug erythropoietin can boost VO2 max by a significant amount in both humans and other mammals. This makes EPO attractive to athletes in endurance sports, such as professional cycling. By 1998 it had become widespread in cycling and led to the Festina affair as well as being mentioned ubiquitously in the USADA 2012 report on the U.S. postal team. Greg Lemond has suggested establishing a baseline for riders' VO2 to detect abnormal performance increases. See also, anaerobic exercise, arteriovenous oxygen difference, cardiorespiratory fitness, comparative physiology, VDOT, oxygen pulse, respirometry, training effect, VO2 max, references. External links, VO2 max calculator, the Rockport walking test, all about VO2 max, horses, so what exactly is VO2? Values by age, ML slash, Garmin.